is crazy and it's hard, right? Right? Is life easy? No. No, life is hard. And so is this sport. But don't think you got to do it by yourself. And that's what we're, we're, we're trying to, to, I wish in so many of my wrestling programs, like you got to think, I've, co I've coached for 15 years. I mean, how excited would you be to have a half hour, an hour to just talk about how much this sport has done for you? Right? It's not enough time. I mean, I, the, the more I can surround you guys with people that make you think, oh, look, he looks like me, or he came from where I grew up, or he's got pink hair like I do, I'll, I'll find that coach, I swear, I'll find that coach. <laughs> You're going to look at these guys and go, wait, I can do this too. Today. Y'all, today we have an Olympic athlete. Raise your hand if you know what the Olympics are. All right. So he's one, at, at, at the height of his career, he was one of the best wrestlers in the entire world. He would make John Cena look like old Grandma Mom. Right? He was one of the top athletes in the world. And his name is Andy Robeck. And he's going to be coming in here today to help us make this program one of the best in the world. Right? Do you want to do this and not be one of the best? Thank you, Marquise. That's a good teammate. Right? Do you guys all, do you want to go through life and be average? Right? You guys get excited about a C? Some of you might, man. Some of you might get F's and you got that C. I swear, true story today. I gave one of my students the biggest hugs today because he took all his F's and he had straight D's and I was smiling like he just got straight A's. I was cheesing ear to ear like, how did you do that, man? You worked hard for it. I mean, we're talking 0%, 5%, 13% in these classes. We got them up to 68%, 65%. That climb, right? That's, that's, a, that's a climb, that's progress. I don't care how you look at it. It doesn't need to be an A plus to be amazing. Right? And we don't have to go out on this on these mats every day and win to be amazing. Right? Because we have two options. We win or learn. Learn. Right? None of us are losers if we want to learn something from it. I've never met a loser that likes to, to learn. That's, that's as simple as I can put it. And so we have an opportunity because we have great people who want to come. An Olympic athlete wants to come in and meet y'all. He doesn't want to meet me. He doesn't want to meet Coach. He doesn't want to meet Coach. He doesn't want to meet Zab. He wants to meet y'all. Yes, he does. He said specifically. Make sure cameras are. Right? Yeah, he's got your seats out. I'll show you later. I'll show you later. And that's that's a beautiful thing. Like I didn't at your age, I didn't meet an Olympian. Right? At your age, I didn't have four, five, six coaches who wanted to just focus on me, and all I had to do was what? Learn. All I gotta do is say, hey, sometimes I'm gonna, I'm gonna close my mouth and open up my ears, because I can't use my ears and my mouth at the same time. Did you know that? Fun fact, I read it on the snap about it. You can't use your ears and your mouth at the same time. It's impossible. You sure? So we, today, I just want to make sure that you guys understand that you represent us as a, as a program, right? Because guess what Olympians, guess Olympians are friends with, guess who? Other Olympians, right? Great people are friends with great people, and so when we take care of great people and they come into our room and they like how we responded and we gave them eye contact and we were one voice, right? And he, we show that we are great teammates. And we show that we want to be human. Right? When we show these things, he wants other people to meet you. And so, next Monday, we have another incredible athlete, local hero coming in named Kyle Cannell. He'll be coming in. He's an Olympic athlete. How'd you know? I told you he looked like an Olympic athlete. See, you can just tell. Right? Hey, that's the camera yeah, thing you were talking about. Right? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Right here. Yeah. See? <laughs> so I just want you guys to realize that what we're doing here. You can do it. What we're doing.
you were waiting. You need some mat space, man. You can't rush greatness. All right. But hey, he's got fun things planned for you. But it's not gonna be fun if all we have to do is tell you guys to shh and stop and knock it off. That's not fun. That's not fun. So be a good teammate. My bad. That's all I want here. All right. Any questions or comments, concerns for me? Of course, can you what? Okay. And your shirt doesn't fit, so we won't. <laughs> Hey, uh, what I realize is we haven't really introduced you guys to our, our other coaches too much. I know Andy's here, he's gonna be doing a lot of talking with us. But I also want Coach Armstrong to take the mic for a second, and Coach Monte to take the mic for a second, and Coach Top. I want you guys to just know who you're surrounding yourselves with because they have amazing backgrounds that are like almost as cool as what he did. We're trying still, we're still trying to work this out, right? So, hey, big clap for Coach Armstrong. One, two, three. Hey, man. How you guys doing? All right. Um, to be honest, man, I'm a kid like you from, from this city, from the inner city. And, uh, like, I grew up on, anybody ever heard of Union? 113th in Union. There was a kid there. Who, uh, who lost his life not too long ago. Major, I don't know if you guys ever heard about that story. I grew up in a house directly across the street from, her, from that, from that, where that happened at. And same street, same area, same everything. And uh, when it happened, I'm like, man, I know that house. This thing, that was the, we used to call it the yellow house. Because uh, it was just a bunch of people we didn't hang out with living in that house, so we just called it the yellow house, because it was yellow. But. Um, I'm just a kid from, from these streets, and uh, there was this guy named Coach Hunt who, who, who said, I think you can wrestle. And I was like, I'm going to play basketball. Just like every other kid in my you know, neighborhood. We had the, uh, the milk crate, banged it out, nailed it up to a pole, and you know, I was Michael Jordan after that. But my coach was like, man, you're going to wrestle. Um, and ever since then, this sport has done some unbelievable things for me. Uh, I went to John F. Kennedy and Collinwood. How did you go to John F. Kennedy? <laughs> um, I graduated from Collinwood. Uh, I was a state place in two-time state qualifier. Never hit that the top of that podium, but um, I'm just a kid from Collinwood though, you know? So seeing that down at the state level, you'll see your St. Ed's and your Ignatius in your Brexville and your Illyrias, but when I see kids from like John Adams and 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 they, these inner city schools that don't have these opportunities sometimes at down at the state tournament, that makes me believe that you know you guys have a real chance. Just because just because of where you come from it doesn't mean that it's a it's a foregone conclusion on where you're gonna go. And and that's the biggest thing I got from wrestling is that because I'm from these same streets. I still got the same kind of friends who act up on the daily, who hit me up, you know, and I don't pay attention to it, but um, just seeing you guys here is like, I get choked up a lot just because we didn't have these people, like it was just me and maybe a couple other guys out here in these stands, or out here in the cafeteria, hanging out. And uh, now there's, you know, 30 of you kids. But uh, I just want to say I appreciate you guys having me in here, and uh, I'm looking forward to working with a lot of you guys. But here's Vontae Jackson, everybody.